from law enforcement across the state, across the nation. The citizens of Yale County in this state have lost a dedicated law enforcement officer. We are in prayer for the family of Lieutenant Kevin Mainhart and all the deputies of the Yale County Sheriff's Department and law enforcement officers across this country as we enter the Law Enforcement Memorial Week. Law enforcement is a dangerous job, and Lieutenant Lanehart was doing his job this morning when he was fatally wounded. As a nation, we can never forget the sacrifice that law enforcement officers make every day in this country. By now, um, you know the chain of events if you've read the news release that we provided to your newsrooms through the course of the afternoon and the briefing that occurred around noon today. But I'll try to recap and then we'll open up for some questions. Uh, this investigation, the criminal side of this investigation is really just now beginning to happen because there was a standoff through the course of the day as uh, negotiators talked to a suspect. It all began about 7.18 this morning when Deputy Mainhart initiated a traffic stop at the junction of State Highway 27 and Slow Fork Road. The events ended um, at 2.40 this afternoon when James Michael Bowden, 32, was taken into custody. The arrest occurred without incident. Bowden is now a suspect in connection with the three homicides that occurred today in Yale County, including the death of Lieutenant Kevin C. Mainhart of the Yale County Sheriff's Department. Moments, about a half hour maybe before Bowden surrendered, a hostage who had been in the residence with Bowden was allowed to leave the residence. She is now being questioned by special agents of the Arkansas State Police Criminal Investigation Division. To remind you again, Lieutenant Mainhart had been en route to a disturbance call at 10024 Gum Street, uh, excuse me, Gum Springs Road, not far from the location of that traffic stop. At this time, special agents of the Arkansas State Police Criminal Division have begun to process the crime scene at 10024. Gum Springs Road, this is the same location where uh, uh, Bowden had been held up through the course of the day, about five hours, a little bit longer, uh, talking to state police negotiators. This is also the same location where the two, two other deceased who, are, uh, who were females, we are not at a juncture yet where we can identify those women. Um, we intend to put a lid on any further statements tonight after we leave this news conference and we'll uh, re, uh, recap tomorrow with some additional new information. Before we take questions, uh, and please, please be patient with us, let's let some gentlemen come up here and talk that we're going to have speak to you and then we'll take your collective questions as best we can uh, to answer those questions. At this juncture, I would like to introduce to you Sheriff Bill Gilkey. Um, he worked directly as the uh, Chief Law Enforcement Officer of this county over uh, uh, Sheriff, uh, over the Deputy, and, and he'll provide some insight as to the good guy that he was. Afternoon. <clears throat> I'd like to take this time to speak a little bit about Lieutenant Kevin Mainhart. Uh, he came to our department approximately five years ago. Uh, from the time that he arrived, he was a leader not only within the department, but the community of Yale County as well. Uh, he was very respected uh, amongst uh, the employees that he worked with and the other officers throughout our county and surrounding counties. Uh, he was an extraordinary example of what a law, and law enforcement officer should be. Uh, he came to work every day. Uh, he had a great work ethic. 
Uh, he was fair-minded and, and, and fair with the people that, that, uh, that he dealt with on a daily basis. Uh, he was also a great father and husband, uh, as well as a great friend to all of us in law enforcement and the community. Uh, words uh, will definitely not describe uh, greatly enough uh, the effect that uh, Kevin Mainhart has had on Yale County and our surrounding community since he has been here. Um, I want to thank you all for your patience today as, as things unfolded and, and allowed all the agencies to do the job that they needed to uh, see this thing, uh, the situation come to an end today. Uh, on behalf of the Yale County Sheriff's Department, we express our our best our best go out to the Main Hart family, and our condolences are, are with them, and as well as our thoughts and prayers. Thank you. Colonel Bill Bryant will address you now. Thank you, Sheriff. Uh, first and foremost, it's a tragedy today. Uh, our thoughts and prayers are with Lieutenant Kevin Manhart's family and also the men and women in, of the Yale County Sheriff's Office. State Police was contacted by the Yale County Sheriff's Office and requested assistance. We responded with the, the Arkansas State Police SWAT team and crisis negotiation team. Uh, upon arrival at the scene, uh, we took control of the scene. And as uh, Mr. Sadler said, we were able to negotiate the surrender of James Michael Bowden. Uh, Mr. Bowden has been charged with three counts of capital murder. Um, again, it's an ongoing uh, active crime scene. Our criminal investigation division is out there now processing the scene. They're going to be there through most of the night, so we ask you to be patient with us. Uh, as soon as we get any further up updated information, we'll be glad to uh, release that information to you. Um, as uh, Bill said, I'm, I am the Colonel of the State Police, but I, I want to introduce Dale Saffold. He's a troop commander here in Troop J, Clarksville. He's been on the scene since the very beginning, and let him have a, a few statements to you, and then we'll be glad to take any questions. Thank you. Thank you, Colonel. My name is Dale Saffold, and I am the troop commander of Troop J, uh, of which uh, Yale County is a part of. And what we saw on this very sad occasion is what happens so many times that a lot of people lose sight of and that is how many people can come together when the need arises we did what we always do when the call went out this morning we came to assist we sent as many resources as we possibly could and it wasn't just the Arkansas State Police assisting Yale County Regardless of what the patch is on your uniform, we had the Dardanelle Police Department was there. We had the Pope County Sheriff's Department was there. The Russellville Police Department was there. Arkansas Highway Police, Arkansas Game and Fish. And I have no doubt that I'm missing others. But I think the main thing is on this very sad occasion, how we come together, come together to serve the citizens of this state. And that's all I have. Again, to reemphasize, this investigation is ongoing. The last thing we want to do right now is compromise that investigation. Uh, this individual, Bowden, will be um, brought. Uh, person who was involved in temporary assault. The preliminary information at this hour is that the suspect uh, that was stopped this morning may have been had some connection with the original disturbance call that came in at 718 this morning. What I'm getting at is did police know there were two bodies outside that residence before Mainhart made that stop or after? We really want to be careful of, of, make, of answering that question and until the timeline can be firmly dis established, we don't want to go there. You did say those two bodies were two female victims outside that residence? That is correct. Okay. Do we have an age and date of birth of Mr. Is it Bowden? Uh, I'll get that to you in a few. He was 32 years old, or he is 32. Do you know when and where he'll make his first court appearance? That'll be up to the court to set that date. Can you speak to the um, tactics that you used to negotiate with him? 
Ma'am, we, we try to stay away from any of the particulars of the techniques that are used. The main thing is to, do, is to establish rapport. That's the most important part, establish rapport with that individual. And that's what happened today, and it was done very successfully. Were there any injuries to the hostage um, or um, the Both are being checked out. Were family members brought in to help the negotiators, or was it? It's, t you know, at this point, I don't want to get into the background of how this thing was successfully concluded uh, and compromise what may play out later. You use the term hostage. Definitely a hostage whose life was in danger? Again, that, uh, we're going to call her a hostage right now. Um, there's nothing to indicate otherwise, but uh, we need to know what her connection was, was with this individual and need to know more, and she will be interviewed by State Police CID. Do you believe you've recovered a murder weapon? There, there are, um, uh, State Police are looking for firearms in that resident right, right now. And does Mr. Bowden, does he have a criminal history? Have you dealt with him before? Until you need to get that from the prosecuting attorney. Uh, we, we can't disclose criminal information from NCIC. When we were out on scene, it looked like Bowden had his phone and was able to make contact with family members from what we were able to, be, what we were able to see on scene and also have a social media presence. Are you able to comment on any of that? We're aware of some uh, background communications that were playing out from uh, people not at the scene. Um, but again, that is part of this investigation. <clears throat> Was there more than one person that was in the house? You said that uh, the lady got out of, but was there somebody else in the house with her? No. No. Just so I'm correct, the house where the standoff happened was the same place where the two victims were found? That is correct. Were there any shots fired at the scene? And, and during the surrender? Yeah. I mean, during any of it. Not that I'm aware of. No. 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 Once police done by law enforcement. Yeah. Done by law enforcement. Were you able to, the coroner, and able to retrieve those victims' bodies with the suspect inside that residence? The bodies have remained at the scene through the course of the negotiations today. And you're not commenting?